Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets iPhone or iPad tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send a free fax from your iPhone. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you the only legitimate way that I have found to actually send free faxes from your iPhone. And before we get too far, I do want to say that there is a small catch in order to get those free faxes. You'll have to watch a couple short commercials on your iPhone in order to earn those free faxes. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with how to send free faxes on your iPhone. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is go to the App Store on our iPhone or iPad and download and install the Easy Fax Send Fax from Phone app. Now check the description, I'll have a direct link down there, as well as a link to this app on Android. So if you know someone that uses Android, they'll be able to use the same app. Once you get the app installed, go ahead and open it up. And to sign up, just select the sign up button in the top left, go through, put in your email and a password and select sign up. But I'm going to log in. All right, so once you get logged into the app, it'll look like this. Now this little share button up here, if you select that, it opens the menu where you can see how many credits you have. You should start out with 15 user credits and it's 10 credits to send a fax within the United States or Canada. As you can see, you can purchase credits if you'd like, but you can also earn credits by watching ads, like I said. So before we get into the faxing, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna select get free credits. I'll select that. Take a second and then it will come up. So I'll select watch video. Then you watch a, as you can see, this one is 30 second ad. Most of them are around 20 seconds I've found. You can always back out of the ad if you want to. Once the ad's done, select the X button. And as you can see, I just earned two credits. So I'll need to watch one more video in order to send a fax. So I'll select watch video again. Same ad. All right, so watch that ad. And now I have 11 credits, meaning I can send one page of a fax. So I'll select the back button. And now that I'm back at the main page of the app, to send my first fax, all I need to do is select the plus symbol in the bottom right and decide where I want to get the fax from. So if I want to get the image from a photo I already took or I can take a picture. So I'll select camera. And now in here, you just want to make sure you have the page captured by the camera and then select the camera button. From here, you just tell the app what part of the image is your fax. So if you need to change the placement, just move the edges until you get it around the fax that you actually want to send, the page. And you can do that as much as you need to. After you're done adjusting the frame, select Next. And then in here at the bottom, we can change the contrast if you want to make sure that the text comes through better. So you can do that, then select Save. So we have our page. If we need to add another page, we can use the icons at the bottom to first delete a page, or we can add a page from our camera roll, or use the camera to take another picture of a new page. I'm only going to be doing one page, so I'll select Send. Now that we've added all the pages necessary, we can put in the phone number of the fax we need to send. You can change the country code by selecting the country at the top, and then selecting your country. And then in this box right here, you enter in the phone number you want to send it to. Once you have the number added, you can add a cover page if you want. I'm not sure if that requires more credits, so I'll turn that off. And now we're ready to go. All we need to do is select send. As you can see, it's going to tell you how many credits it will take and the available credits you have, the number of pages, and confirm the phone number before you send it. I'm going to select send fax. It's processing. And now it will be in my queue. So I can select OK. And now when I go back to the main page, you can see that it says sending. So now we just wait. It usually takes maybe up to five minutes to send the fax. And you can select refresh up in the top right to have an updated status if there is one. And then once it does update the status, if it was successfully sent and the fax was received, it'll say success. And I think it only took a couple minutes for it to send, so not too bad. All right, so that's how you send free faxes from your iPhone or iPad. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more iPhone or iPad tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.